I'm super excited about the project with Onboard. I think it's a great concept of bringing like artists from from the let's call it the real world to the NFT world and help them like you know establish themselves there. And I think it's um, it's great for artists to explore with different mediums. So it's a great opportunity for all of them who will come. And uh, it's a new venture. It's very exciting, and I'm happy that I'm part of it. So the Game Over series actually started very spontaneously. I had no idea what I was doing as, as often as it is. And um, I just had all these like um, different materials lying around. So I used like some wood, I had some old uh, Viennese art posters and I started like doing my little collages. And um, for some reason, I never did something to show my inspiration that I take like from Jean-Michel Basquiat. I loved his skulls that he painted in his works and the representation of, of death and life. And um, especially as an artist, there is always like a beginning and an end if you create something and it comes to an end. And uh, it's a little death to the artist. So what he has to do, he has to rebuild and, and start all over again. So it's, it's really about the process. And that's exactly what this series is about. Uh, it says also like game over, the game is over, you lost. Um, nobody likes to lose, but I think losing is, is, is a part of the game. And what is most important is that you play again, that you never stop and fall in love with the process. Well, we call ourselves artists, but what is art? This is the first question we have to ask ourselves. And I don't know when I started to make art because I think everything in life is art. So the way you express yourself, the way you you can be yourself in a society that constantly tries to manipulate you. And uh, I was lucky enough to be always able to do the things that I love, to follow my heart. So I think that's the, the biggest advantage that I had uh, coming from completely different fields. I used to be a professional basketball player. I modeled for 10 years in New York and I think all these impressions and all these experience are flowing now into my work. And that's why art is definitely the next step and my calling. I see NFTs as a bridge to my actual works in the real world. And I think this adds a lot, a lot of value. I can use NFTs as, as a certificate of the works that I've done. And what I really love about NFTs is that you can enhance it and make something completely different of, of an art piece that you already made. So to see this process and to see these possibilities is just mind blowing. And I'm really curious to see where this is gonna, which direction is gonna take and what else we will be able to create in this new community, in this new space. Another great thing about the NFT world is the excitement. People are excited about art and brings art closer to the people and I think that's a wonderful thing. Um, the young generation maybe will just discover art through NFTs and then like, you know, look also into other art. But what is important is that there is art and that there is interest for art. Okay, but enough about this serious talk. Let's go to play. Let's do something. Come on, let's create.